Okay, so someone asked me uh, for a tour of my whistle collection, and uh, so that's that's my main whistle rack right there, uh, and my my two ukuleles next to it, um, and then that's my most my, mostly my goldfinch rack. I've got a few other PVC, CPVC things on there, like some of Pablo's stuff and uh, some tipple flutes, and then uh, that's my other rack. That's got my most of my carbony whistles on there, and then uh, a lot of the high whistles. And there's a butterfly that Cedar Dobson um, <laughs> gave me when I when I sold my Goldie high D to her. Um, so over here, starting with the large rack, I have my Alba bass B flat or uh, bass A. I've got a uh, this is a uh, Vincenzo De Mauro. Delrin B flat flute. Um, here's a here's the Alba B, bass B. Uh, here's her C whistle, low C. And then behind there, you see tubes for uh, C reveal, a D flat reveal, and then a D the low D reveal. Um, here's my Chieftain V3, my Goldie low D. Here's my Copeland brass, low D. Uh, here's my must be maybe the e, e body for uh, yeah that's the e body for my alto reveal. Here's my uh, Burke Viper aluminum low D. <clears throat> There's my reveal E flat. Should be the E flat yeah E flat is what I keep on there most of the time. Uh, my Goldfinch E which I love so very much. Um, reveal F. Goldie F. Here's my Goldfinch. Um, F sharp, it's kind of an off key. Back behind there, I have a the Dante Music F. Uh, here's the Dante Music G, which I also love so very very much. Um, Goldfinch A flat, another off key. Um, they do a nice job with those. And then uh, Burke A, Goldie A. Uh, oh, back behind here is the Reveal A body, which is a huge bore, big sound. Um, and then the Reveal G, and then let's see. I've got my Dante Music A, which I also love. I really like the 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 A and the the G and the Dante, and then the Goldie A. Uh, then I've got these. I've got three Generation B flats. I've got uh, this is my Clover Clover whistle. Uh, I got this so I could have a B whistle, um, but I also have bodies for it in C and D. Then I have uh, Burke Aluminum C. Uh, here is my recent whistle from Pablo, uh, the um, D flat. And then I've got my Burke Brass Wide Bore Session Board D, uh, D whistle. And then my um, can't think McManus uh, Ebonite D. I've got a, a tube for. Freeman C, the the Mellow Dog. And there's the D body. There's the uh, Henry Potter, Henry J. Potter whistle. Timothy J. Potter. Sorry, Timothy J. Potter whistle. Which is really nice, kind of uh, nicer than a, a store bought whistle, but still has that very traditional sound. Then I've got, <clears throat> I also got this. Uh, here's my Lehart. Six key flute. I've got an old German Nachtmeyer flute that I've been slowly working on. I've sort of stalled out on that. I've got a Bleezy, Bleezy boxwood. Still, uh, again, buckets of random whistles over here. Um, over here, I've got my Pablo CPVCD and then the Goldfinch E flat D. Uh, this is the uh, the 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 odd scale cool. Uh, I forget what it is, but you can see the whole pattern is different. I got the C, a B flat. It's where the bore sizes jump. The G, which is also really really nice. Um, F, E flat. And here's Pablo's narrow bore. Uh, e flat, I believe. Then this is an E flat tipple flute. Uh, which has a nice tone when I can get it. I have I have trouble 
getting the tone out of it, but um, Goldfinch D, and then Goldfinch low C, and then the tipple low D flute with a lip plate. And over here, oh, this is where I keep my Carbonies. Um, Carbony low D flute, uh, which I play a lot. Um, the F, which is a, a lot of fun to play. Uh, it's very powerful, robust sound, and pretty easy to get uh, a sound out of it. Like low D, low E, this is my first carbony, my low F, alto G, or mezzo G, mezzo A flat, or mezzo A. This is one of my favorite whistles of all time. Uh, just really checks off a lot of my boxes. And then uh, the B flat, which is really nice. The C, which I've still been messing with the putty dam on that. The D with the, the leading tone D. Then I've got a <clears throat> my Delrin Milligan. And then uh, the Delrin and Diamond Wood Milligan. Those are D's. I have a square whistle up here by uh, Seti Knight, uh, Philip Seedorf. And then um, Killarney in brass. I've got my Chieftain Cobre, the copper body. Um, I've got Pablo's uh, older, the D whistle that he made me back here. Uh, I think this is a Dixon. This is my Shearwater high D. This is another uh, Timothy J. Potter. Here's an Alva C, which has the really pretty green, green uh, ebonite thipple block. Here's a Shaw high D. Uh, it's got the wooden thimble block. It plays a lot like a like a Clark, uh, old Clark classic thing. Here's my Suzato. Uh, these are the two Nick Metcalf ones. This one ends up being a D flat, and then I have a C. The very sweet whistles. Um, here's my Dixon, Tony Dixon G. Uh, my Chris Wall, high D, uh, and then a Nick Metcalf A flat. The silver star model and then a Burke F which is fantastic um, and then my Dante music low D which I'm gonna sell that one eventually um, yeah and that is that's pretty much it I always have whistles stashed all over the place but um, yeah hope that's interesting <laughs>